Okay. Republicans uh, will roll out a long-awaited tax blueprint later today. For more on that, uh, for more on taxes, we're joined by Ro Romina Bacia. She's deputy director of uh, Thomas A. Rowe Institute for Economic Policy Studies at the Heritage Foundation. Good morning to you. Help us try to understand what you think we're going to hear today. I think the tax plan will be very much focused on providing tax relief to American businesses so they can create more jobs, more investment in this country. So what we're talking about is a much lower corporate rate of about 20 percent, also applying a lower rate to businesses that file through the personal income tax code, your so-called pass-throughs. We're looking at about 25 percent there. There will also be a full expensing, the idea that businesses can write off the full value of their investments in the first year. That may be temporary for only about five years for uh, tax scoring reasons to make sure that the plan um, does not uh, increase the deficit too much. There's also going to be some changes on the personal side, including a much higher standard deduction that will reduce the value of some of the special interest loopholes and tax breaks, including the mortgage in interest deduction and others uh, such uh, policies. So we'll see a little bit on the personal side and a lot on the business side because that's really what's driving economic growth, and that's been the president's top priority is to get growth to 3% or more. Are you on board with 20%? on the corporate rate? I think that that is a good start. Uh, the, the global average is about 22 percent. We're at almost twice that right now with 40 percent if you factor in the corporate rate at the federal level and the average of state levels. 20 percent is a good uh, target. I like the president's 15 percent target better, but politics is about compromise, so 20 percent is certainly better than what we have now. And so, just so, just so I'm clear, you would take 15 percent? I would take 15 percent. I would take 10 percent. In fact, the best corporate rate would be a zero percent corporate rate because we're looking at double taxation. All of that income gets taxed at the shareholder level, plus the corporate rate actually doesn't get paid by corporation. People often miss that. It ends up getting paid by workers in the form of lower wages. We know this from academic research. Over the past decade and beyond, workers bear pretty much the whole share of the corporate tax burden in the form of low wages. But you appreciate the trade-off. The trade-off, I think that... The, the trade-off being that it's very hard to pay for, it's very hard to pay for the roads and the bridges and everything else that we have going on in this world if, if, if that's the rate. As a budget analyst, I believe that we can do a lot more if we were actually willing to cut spending. The federal budget is at over four trillion. I've been advocating but the, but for a spending break. Uh, that may be, but that's not what's happening here. No, I think it's because it's politically difficult because spending is a bipartisan problem. Neither Republicans nor Democrats have shown a real appetite to cut spending. Even the president's budget proposal has largely fallen on deaf ears if you're looking at the latest spending deal. So that's why it's difficult to get real big tax reform done if there's no appetite to cut the spending side of the budget. Romina, so we have currently seven individual tax rates. We're now talking about having three, 12, 25, 35. Where am I putting the middle class in that? Obviously not the 35, but is it 12 or is it 25? So with the higher standard deduction, it depends on what you think defines the middle class. Exactly. You might put them in both tax brackets. There won't be any details today. I understand exactly what income thresholds those uh, new rates will apply. I think that's something that they're leaving up to the tax writers to figure out so that we can also see how that will score in the end. So I think there's some wiggle room in those, in those areas. Okay. Uh, Romina, thank you for joining us. Thank this you. Morning. Appreciate it.